when you're talking about moon phases, there is so much to talk about. It's, it's kind of like a couch that you can pick up, but it's just hard to figure out how you're going to get a hold to it to lift it. That's the way moon phases are. It is understandable, but it's a complex issue that you almost have to build a foundation to understand. So I'm going to try to keep it simple today as we talk about the impact of moon phases on deer. You know, again, I want to go back to the feeding patterns. When you're hunting the feeding patterns, particularly during the pre-rut, but also during the post-rut, it is very difficult to hunt a full moon during those times because the full moon tends to kill your prime early morning and late afternoon hours. You just don't get good movement. Deer like to feed during those prime hours, and if the moon is suppressing activity during those early morning, late afternoon hours, then you're going to lose that. Now, deer, and deer don't tend to move much during the middle of the day. They will move some. If they're moving, it's probably because they're real hungry. They're probably because they're stressed. Now see, when I say stressed, I can also translate rut causes stress. So during the full moon, I don't mind hunting deer in the middle of the day because one, the deer are very active during that time and they, they're, they're, they're driven by the rut as opposed to the convenient movement patterns of feeding. They move on their own time during feeding, but during the rut there's an urgency. So those deer will move all day during the rut, particularly during the middle of the day. You do tend to lose your early morning and late afternoon peak movement hours, but the rut drives them to move during the middle of the day. So I don't mind hunting the peak of rut during a full moon. In fact, I kind of like doing that because I like having all day to hunt, knowing that I got a chance to shoot a trophy buck any time during the day. But I try to avoid hunting feeding patterns during the full moon. Now during the dark moon, the rut can also be good then because once again you have the rut driving activity. So I don't mind hunting a, uh, the rut during the dark moon, but I also don't mind hunting the rut during the full moon. In fact, I kind of prefer that. Deer movement is definitely affected by the various moon phases. There's no question about that. But the first and the third quarter, which are basically your half moons, they really don't have the same degree of impact that the dark moon and the full moon have. Now the full moon is when it's the brightest at night and everybody wants to say that the deer move at night. I'm not sure that's the case, but it definitely affects movement. It also, the full moon tends to trigger rutting activity when the full moon corresponds with the peak of rut. It tends to actually enhance or trigger rutting activity because of the melatonin in does declines, which triggers estrus, which triggers rut. That's a whole nother topic. I want to be there when that full moon and that rut correspond because I know there's going to be rocking rutting activity. So the full moon, think rut. The new moon, think feeding pattern. Avoid the full moon during the feeding patterns and I guarantee you, you'll be a whole lot better off. You'll see a lot more deer. I'm David Morris. I'll see you next time on Tech Money Trophy Tips.